Okay, for this problem, we are given some information about cell growth, and we want to know the exponential growth formula. So at the start, initially it was 125 cells, then it says three hours later, we're told that it goes to 235 cells. We want to start with the basic growth formula. So for this section, it looks like this. A of t is equal to a of zero, e to the kt. This is our general growth formula that was given in the notes. This is your population uh, at a certain time t. The a of zero is your initial population. The k is your growth or decay constant. If your k is positive, you have a growth. If it's negative, you have a decay. And then you have your t, which is your time. And that could be in terms of any amount of uh, time. It could be seconds, hours, days, uh, any unit of time works for that one. Let's look at what information was provided for us in this question. It said at the start of the experiment. Okay, so that's your initial, that's your A of zero. So A of zero is gonna be 125 cells. Next it says three hours later. Okay, so our time is gonna be three hours. Then there's 235. So that 235 is gonna represent this. That would be how many cells that there are after three hours. So that would be like your current population. So my A of T is gonna be in this case 235 cells. Okay, so now that we have this information, we, we wanna put it in here. And the last thing we're gonna solve for is K. K is the only thing that we, we don't know what it is because that wasn't provided. We do need to find the K value in order to get the growth formula that's specific for this particular example. So A of T, that's 235. A of zero is 125. K is what we're trying to solve for, and then I have a three. That would be my T. So I just put all this information that's plugged it directly into the formula. I want to solve for K. So I have to find that by itself. I'm going to isolate the term that has the K in it. So the first thing I want to do is divide both sides by 125. And if you do that, that actually gives you 1.88. There's no, no numbers that come after it. That goes in evenly and gives you, you get 1.88. Uh, on this side, that would be e to the 3k. Now from the previous section, we talked about solving uh, exponential equations. One technique we, we did here was to get rid of the e, we took the natural log of both sides. So you're going to do ln 1.88 is an equal ln e to 3k. Now when you, take, when you have ln and e together, that's one of our log properties we talked about before. If you have log base b of b and you have an exponent part on it, the log b and b, that's both gonna cancel. So this is gonna give you just 3k and that's gonna be what you get once the ln and e drop out. Then we have ln 1.88 on this side. So now we need to solve for k by dividing both sides by 3. So your k is going to be ln of 1.88, and we're going to divide this by 3, and that's going to be our k value. Uh, for my class on the exams, you can just round your k value to four places. So that's what I'm going to do for all the examples in these videos. I'm going to round all the k values to four places just to make it consistent. Four places would be enough decimals to where it would be accurate enough for the problem that we're doing. So if I do that to four places, 0.2104, that's what you should get for the k value. That's gonna be your growth constant. We know we have a growth because it starts from 125 and grows to 235. So yeah, we should get a positive number there for your k value. Now we're not done yet because it asks for what's the exponential growth formula. This is not a formula, this is just a constant. So I need to put everything all together. So my answer, what I'm gonna do when I write this, I'm going to go back to this formula here, and I'm, I'm going to leave the t's in there, but I'm going, to, I'm going to replace the a of zero and the k, so that way I get a general formula that I can use to find the population at any value of t. So here's what it looks like. I have a of t, it's going to equal a of zero, which is 125, e to the point 2104, and that's t. So this right here that would be the answer for part A. That's what they want. They want the exponential growth formula. This one is specific to the information that was originally provided. So now we're going to do parts A and B, which we're actually going to use 
this same formula and we'll use that to answer the, the next qu couple questions. Okay, for part B, how many cells are present after five hours? This was the formula we came up with in part A, so we're going to use this again to answer part B and part C. So it says, how many cells are present after five hours? So they're telling us that the five hours, that's going to be a T value. So we're going to put the five into this every place I see a T. So that's A with a five. Now this, let's talk about this notation here. This does not mean five times A. This is a function notation. This is saying that the amount of bacteria at five hours is. That's what this means. So you're saying that this is the amount of bacteria after that particular unit of time. So when you put this in here, we don't have to do any more with that. We're not dividing both sides by five. We're not doing anything else. We're just going to leave our answer just like that, A of five. Now this, we have 125 E to the point 2104 and we're putting a five in there for the T. The best thing to do with a problem like this is to do the exponent part first. We're going to multiply 0.2104 times 5, and if we do that, we get 125e to the 1.052. That's what you'll get when you multiply these two numbers together. What we want to do now is put this into our calculator. Now, a lot of calculators, you can just type this in just as it is, but certain calculators, you may have to do this part first. If you're doing this part, there's an E on there now, so that one, typically, you have an LN button on your calculator, and you'll see an E caret key above it, or E the X, or E the Y, something like that. That's what you're going to use for this part here. So if you do just the exponent part only, I'll do that separately for you, then you're going to get 125 times, and you're going to get 2.86. 33721, some more decimals that will come after that. So that's what you'll get for just the exponential part only. So once you do that part, then you want to multiply it by 125. And if you do, you're going to get something close to 358 cells. So uh, rounding to the nearest whole number, that's what you would get. The problem will usually tell you what they want to round to. In this case, it didn't tell us uh, what our rounding is, but in this case, we'll just round to the nearest whole number. Uh, it would be 358 cells. Okay, part C. How long, round to the nearest hour, will it take the population to reach 442 cells? We're still going to use the same formula we've been using for all our parts, 125E to the 0.2104T. This time, the number that they give us, 442, that's going to be what we're going to put in after the equal sign. That would be the growth after a certain amount of time, that's what it grows to, 442. And it's also asking us, it says, how long round in the nearest hour? That means we're actually trying to solve for the time. So this is really the only place we can put the 442 would be after the equal sign. So 442 will equal 125e to the 0.2104 uh, t. So we have it, now the equation set equal to 442. We want to solve for the time. So to do that, we need to get this E by itself. So in order to do that, we want to divide both sides by 125. So 125 here, 125 there. When you divide that, 442 divided by 125, you're going to get this, 3.536. That's going to divide evenly. The number, the decimal stops there. Equals E to the 0.2104 uh, T. So we have that. We want to get the, rid of the e, the e so we can get the exponent by itself. To do that, you're going to put a natural log on both sides. So ln 3.536 is going to equal ln e to the 0.2104 uh, t. Whenever you have ln and e together, that's going to disappear. So you end up with ln 3.536 is going to equal just the exponent part only, 0.2104 uh, t. Now, we want to divide both sides by 0.2104, that's our k value, and when we divide by this, uh, this is going to cancel, and you're, in this part we can put into a calculator, and uh, it's about equal to 6. So that's going to be 6 hours is what you're going to get for your time. So it'll take approximately 6 hours for that population to grow all the way up to 442 cells.